Hey, 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 great day, everybody. Of course, it's me, Dr. Marian Sisafua, aka the Chat Diva. I am here. It's been a while. I'm traveling, so I haven't been able to get on. Plus, the internet has been funky, funky, crazy, crazy. Yesterday, I came on briefly to talk about what's on your spiritual menu. What's on the menu? What are you feeding yourself mentally, emotionally, spiritually? Welcome to the space. Thank you so much for being here. But today, we're going to continue that conversation. We're going to continue the conversation, but in a little different way. Those of you that don't know, this is about conscious, honest, authentic talks from a divinely inspired vision of ascension. I am a a uh, holistic life harmony alchemist. I'm about harmony. Balance is something that we all uh, talk about a little bit. Great day, great day to all of you coming in the room. Please like and share the page. But you know, it's really about it's really about identifying, you know, who we are. This time and, and season that we're in, and I want to talk specifically about the season itself. Like we're 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 on the cusp of fall and we're on the on the on the in the heart of the summer right so the fall season the autumn season is coming and i think that a lot of us are moving forward and we're hearing conversations and you're watching programs and you and you are seeking out answers and you want to know how things are going to come about and you may be feeling gloomy and you may be feeling like so much stuff is going on great day great day welcome to the room honored to, for you to be here with me you know it's it's just just cut into the chase that you may feel dorm like there's some dormancy that's coming on in your life. You may feel that that things are dormant in your life. Oh, I look like my eyes are my eyes are yeah, my eyes turn color sometimes. But you know, it's just a matter of saying, you know, how thank you so much. I needed those. Thank you, Mark. I appreciate that. Honor. Thank you. Welcome, Robert. Welcome, Joey. So really just understanding just how how our lives are progressing as i said what are you feeding yourself what are you feeding what are you feeding yourself what are you what are you putting around you who are the conversations what are the conversations that are happening around you so i'm away at a conference right now so i'm in my hotel room in a conference and and as i'm progressing as i'm moving around people are like oh my god i want to meet you i've heard so much about you and i da, 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 da. and i'm saying to them yeah i can talk to you here in person it's me in person, but I need you to understand that the protocol still remembers that I'm, a, I'm accessible to all, but I'm only available to a few because only a few people are going to be willing to invest in themselves and invest in me in a level of reciprocity so that we can all grow and exchange. So this season of autumn, this season of the, of the fall, we are going to have to turn inward. We're going to store, we have to put some of those seeds, collect, we've collected our harvest and now we have some seeds that we want to plant for the next season of harvest. Some of us, we just can't throw it away. We can't just say, oh, it's going to be there. It comes with a process. And the process is that when we pull in our harvest, when we pull in the great relationship, when we break up with the person who was who was hindering us from having growth, and we realize the, the power and the potential we have inside of us, when we get that brilliant idea that's going to propel us into financial assurances and stability, when we take on the opportunities that are giving us the opportunities to advance ourselves in our careers, to advance ourselves in our educational endeavors to advance ourselves in our community when we come up with these ideas that are going to support us in our goals for our optimal physical health when we are choosing to heal listen to me healing is not i repeat healing is not a cure you know when you say you're healed that just means that you have recognized that whatever caused you the disruption in your life is not important enough to keep dwelling on it okay but that that scar is still there you know you've healed but the scar is still there it just isn't as prominent it just isn't something that's causing you pain anymore it isn't being a distraction anymore okay that's what i mean by saying that in this season in this harvest season at the end of our harvest season we are now processing what we have harvested and we're taking the better parts and we're going to store up some. So my mother is from the South. And <laughs> my mother is from the South. 
and she grew up and so every fall we would after we brought in the harvest or she would go and we would have to go gather up the strawberries the greens the green beans the the tomatoes all those all those vegetables and all those fruits sometimes my uncle would kill a cow and so we would have he would process the cow and then we would have to package it up to store it up to get us through the winter thank you for that compliment marcus appreciate it welcome harmony welcome robert and so so in that process see i'm gonna tell you in the life processes that we may have not in, uh, understood or agree with is a lesson for our advancement some of us want to move forward we feel like we're stuck we feel like we're, we can't make it it's because we're ignoring the lessons that were given to us all the time so in my life it was my mother teaching me how to after the harvest after the harvest to process the cow every fall watching my uncle process the cow, cows at the meat factory it was it was my mother having us harvest all the fruits and vegetables and make pear preserves and create apple sauce and apple butter and put up uh and put up strawberries in the freezers and 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 package up cha-cha and green beans and okra and prepare it so that we could have those things that we enjoyed ha huh, listen to this we could enjoy those things that we enjoyed in the in the height of its season in the spring and the summer we enjoyed those things and my mother was teaching me that if you want to keep enjoying those things then you need to prepare them you need to, you need to package them you need to save a little bit for later for when they're no longer available that's what the canning process and the freezing process was about so that we could we could have what we enjoyed again even out of season oh somebody missed that even out of the season the season that we're in that we're enjoying the spring and the summer and we got this harvest now it's time for us in the fall to begin to prepare and hold on to little bits and pieces so we can enjoy it in the winter time when things are dormant when we're not sure when it's not as bountiful we can still know that we have our bounty and so that relationship so that job that educational opportunity those friends that fell away those limited opp those opportunities that were stressing you out those debt that debt that disharmony that was in your life is now you 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 let it go and you are harnessing and you are harvesting and you are preparing and processing and saving up for the next season to be able to enjoy it too most people don't like conversations like this because you want me to tell you what's going to happen instead of knowing that it is happening in this present moment raise up your consciousness raise up your spirituality raise up your awareness for yourself Conscious, honest, authentic talks from a divinely inspired voice of ascension. If you want to ascend, then you want to sit back and you want to reflect. Can you imagine some of us are reading books and we never think about what the words are? That's why sometimes I ask my children, I would always ask my children, what did you just read? Or what is the book about? Or what is the cartoon about? What is the show about? Some of us have to ask ourselves, what was the intention of you watching it? And what is the purpose of you having heard that? Even those people that come to us that have spiritual gifts. What did you hear? What does that mean for you? How does that resonate with you? You have to go back and reflect. And I can tell you that I get a lot of people that come back to me after they deal with me on a coaching level or deal with me on a counseling level or deal with me on a spiritual consult level. And they always come back and say, you know, when you said one, two, three, four, five, it didn't resonate initially because that was the resistance. That was the resistance, that was the ego, that was the fear, that was the doubt, that was the worry, that was the insecurity, that was the anger, that was the hurt, the disappointment didn't allow them. But once they got out of, the, out of that place and they were relaxed or they were doing something, it hit them back and they said, dang, she was right on point. We all have to go through those stages of acknowledging that what it is we have in our lives some some parts of the tree are good some fruits come out and they good and some of the fruit is going to have a worm in it some of them are going to be overripe and some of them are going to be just right or underripe and you got to choose for yourself in your life every day every moment begin to choose for yourself 
Begin to choose for yourself what it is you would like to experience in your life and stop allowing conditions, experiences, and circumstances to distract you from the power that is found in your current state. You may feel uncomfortable. I get it. I get it. Been there, done that. I understand fully. But what you don't understand is that in this uncomfortable state, you are now seeking to get out of that uncomfortable state. And in order to do that, you got to recognize what's around you. You got to hear and see the opportunities that are presented before you. You got to be able to raise up and snatch what you need or feel around and feel something that you can grab hold of to cut some of those chains and cut some of those cords and plug your ears up from all the naysayers. Like my mama told me, we had to harvest and we had to prepare and we had to can and we had to freeze and my uncle had to kill a cow or kill some chickens so that we could know that as we were going into the winter months, we could still enjoy what we enjoyed in the summer and spring months. But some of y'all just let people come in and wipe you out or you give it all away and then you expecting people to come and, and reciprocate but you haven't made any agreements because you haven't even made the agreement with yourself to recognize that you have the power, the strength within your own soul, soul sacred script to do that. Everybody wants free, 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 free. Everybody wants a nice, a nice plate of food put before them. Everybody wants the nice message. Everybody wants to do have everything. They want the prosperity. They want the abundance. They want the, the wonderful relationship. They want the, the great body, the beautiful face, the beautiful body. They want to have the nice home, the nice car. But nobody understands what it takes for that to occur. They're, it's called maintenance. It's maintenance. Are you attending to yourself? Thank you for the gifts. Thank you for being here. Are you attending to yourself? Are you identifying truly what's best for you? Or are you just holding on? Are you just holding? What is it that you can expect? What is it that you can expect? This is a conscious, honest, authentic talk. Conscious, honest, authentic talk. From a divinely inspired voice of ascension. We're asking today, what are you doing in this present season of your life to ensure that you have what you need? I'm doing great. Thank you so much, Pam, for being here. What is it in this life? That, what is it in this current season in your life? Are you, are you processing? Are you harvesting? Are you preparing for your next season? What is it that you want to take with you into your next, next part of this, this year with you? What is you want to take that when you need it, it's going to be available? You can't give everything away. Some things are only available during a season. So it's your responsibility, as my mama taught me, to take a little bit and put it away for later. Absolutely positively. There is a process that we all go through. There is, a, there is an energetic force that begins to flow through our lives. And we have to be able to recognize it and know when, how much of it to keep in our space. And if we want it to repeat itself, we have to give it a space to exist. It's not codependency we're seeking from other people. It is interdependency we're seeking. We can't let everybody have access to all of our resources. And then when it's time for us to have it, we don't have it. And then we form, well, why don't they do it for me? I'm a good person. I gave, I gave them my all. You're not supposed to do that. It's called reciprocity. Okay. It's supposed, it is supposed to be reciprocity. All is well with me. Thank you for asking. People are worried about things that have nothing to do with you. And I tell people all the time, you know, like I said earlier, you know, people will come to me and they say, oh, you know, when you said that, when you did the, 
when you know when you were in the session you said this and and then it didn't resonate and then I went back and I thought about it and you were absolutely right. It's not about me being right. It's about I don't have I don't have any I don't have anything to win by telling you something that is not true. So this conscious, honest, authentic talks from a divinely voice of ascension. Anything I do, I'm talking to you from a space of this is what I see. This is what I'm this is what I'm aware of. This is what I'm sharing with you. So what are you doing? Are you covering up your ears from doubt, worry, fear, conjectures that are making you doubt and, and not believe that it's possible for you to move beyond where you are right now? Are you speaking things over your own self? And attracting things and allowing things to be in your space that shouldn't be in your space and in your life that you're still holding on to. Are you watching other people hoping that it becomes you when your journey is much greater than what theirs is? Or you're just not starting out on your journey? In some, at some point, you have to ask yourself, what am I doing to uplift myself? How am I elevating myself? It's not about them. It's not about anybody except for you. But when you start giving other people power in your life, that's when you've lost total control. When you are no longer accepting the greater parts of who you are. When you are no longer experiencing life at the highest, highest tier that is possible. Believing in yourself, trusting yourself. Yes, those, these, are, these are things that people say they do, but we really don't know because we've never been taught how. I can only depend upon myself. Well, how do you know that? And, and, and can you really depend upon yourself? Or are you going to wait until someone else affirms that it's okay for you to depend upon yourself? Because depending upon yourself means that you understand that you have to get some things done and people may not like the way you're getting it done and they may not want you to get it done. But you do it anyway. And you become resourceful. And you're committed to what you're doing. Absolutely. Positively. So it is. How about that? This conversation is not for the weak. It's not for the people who want to come in and foo-foo. If you want to do a spiritual consult with me, you have to go to the link in my bio and go through the proper protocols. If you want me to coach you, you go to the link in my bio and you can set up a coaching, a coaching call. If you, want me, if you want to be a part of my retreats, you have to go to the link in the bio. But this conversation is a no-cost conversation for us to elevate ourselves and prepare ourselves for a greater part of who we are. It doesn't cost you anything but your time and then some reflection time after it's over. Yeah? We good? Are we good? A lot of the disharmony that we have in our lives is because we are waiting for other people to approve us. It's waiting for people to approve us. We're waiting for people to approve us. We don't have to approve anything. We just have to be. We just have to know. And we just have to do. Be no do. Be who you were designed and created to be. Stay where you're, right? Know who you be. And then do the things that allow you to do that. Thank you for the following. Thank you for the, for the presence. Welcome to the space. Welcome to the room. This is our space. Be, know, and do. Too many of us are walking around here in disbelief about who we be. You are divine vision. Also. Now you should start ascending. Knowing that information, you need to start doing things that take you to your level of ascension that's going to highlight your life and put you in a greater position, a greater space, a greater opportunity. As I started out this morning, I started telling y'all that I am at a conference, right? I'm at a conference. And since I got here, all I've been doing is impacting people and having abundant flow through my life. 
I think I spent all of $20. Well, I take that back. Now, last night, I spent $40 in two days because the abundant flow and the choice of who I be is making a way for me. My name is on the mouth of other people. You see, not because, not because I'm out here advertising, but because when I walk into a space, I know who I be. And so I'm just doing what I do, which is share me, share, share the divinity, share the, the possibilities and the realities that there's more. As a divine, holistic life, harmony alchemist. I have no qualms about it. It's who I be. You don't like my verbiage? That's okay with me because at the end of the day, you'll see why I'm able to move like I move. It is a learning process. I'm still in the harvest season. You're in your harvest season. What can we harvest today that we can that we can take and we can put away and we can keep having it grow to so get ready to plant it again to have another harvest of the same? If you found some financial success in the spring and the summer, then what are you going to do? What are you going to glean from that and you're going to keep from the harvest that you can reseed, use those seeds again to plant them again and again and again? Thank you for being here. What seeds are you taking to replant, to bring another harvest? What lessons did you learn to make the crops grow even better? Ooh, y'all, this is good. I'm using, I'm using the analogy of, of agriculture, but the reality is this is what we should be doing. If you started doing something, if you broke away from something, if you realize a pattern, if you broke a habit, if you remove toxic people, if you, if you change the way in which you address your physical body, health, strength, and magnitude, why not? Why not re rinse and repeat it again? Why not? Why not? Isn't that what we're supposed to do? Welcome, Kim. Why not? Many will attempt what you can only complete. People are going to try to be like you because you do inspire them. Remember that be like Mike? People want to be like Michael Jordan back in the day. Why? Because Michael Jordan was at the top of his game. And so people want to be on the top. People want to have that position. Welcome, Melissa. So if I am going to be the, the, the top level person with consistency, with value, with prosperity, with truth and integrity, with honor, then I'm going to be that. It has nothing to do with anyone else. Because even though I have to interact with people, you got to interact with people. You don't got to give them your secret sauce. Some of y'all try to give people everything because you done, you done came into the light and now you're ready to give away everything. Allow yourself to benefit from your harvest, of your perseverance, of your struggle, your tenacity, your wisdom, your humility, your expansive, your bravery, your brilliance, your boldness, your truth. Come on now. This is not the time for you to be like, oh, well, it really wasn't me. No, this is the time to say, listen, I went through hell and back. I had some, I scraped up my knees along, along the journey. Maybe even some elbows. Yep. There's a tear in my stockings. And in that knowing, you still are. You still are the truth. You still are the, the power. You still are the relevance. You still are relevant. You still have your power. You still have your strength. Can I tell you that people say, oh, the person told me I'll never find somebody like them. You know why they say that? Because it's the freaking truth. Some people leave. Some people leave a relationship or they will sabotage a relationship because they realize they bit off more than they can handle or chew. 
They bit off more. They say that, you know, you, you, you wrote a check that your butt can't cash. They wrote a check that they, they, they had no capacity to handle. You, you are, you are more than a much. You are too much. You too much because you have a standard that says that I require this level of completion in my life, this level of support in my life, this level of recognition of my value, my truth, my purpose, my desire, my goals. Y'all let me know if everything is going well. I'm on, I'm on um, Wi-Fi in this hotel and it has not been the best or consistent. So if you find that my Wi-Fi is going out, just drop me a little note and let me know that I'm freezing or that it's, that it's glitching or whatever. Let me know if the internet is glitching or, or having challenges. That's what I appreciate. Thank you so much. If you could let me know that. Welcome. Because I know sometimes this internet has been not very nice to me. Especially when I'm doing lives. So if you find the internet is glitching or, or breaking up, let me know, please. Please be a dear and let me know that. Don't just be like, oh my God, she's glitching. I'm going to leave her where she at. No, I need you to tell me. Okay? Or if the sound is off, let me know. Yeah. This this is where this is where where we begin to grow and harvest ourselves. Welcome to the room. This conscious, honest, authentic talk is what we're talking about today. This is this is who we are. This is what we're what we're what we're doing, what we're expecting, what we're living for, what we're what we're desiring for ourselves is a better life, a better experience in this life. Welcome, Mike. It really has been acted up. And I know some of that is some metaphysical stuff, but some of it is just they playing with us. OK, sidebar. Let me sidebar. It's still relevant. Um, just so y'all know, right? Yeah, but my ears are ringing. So this is telling me that what was coming forth is a message. These people are playing with the atmosphere for the last 25 years. They are playing with, um, methods by which they can communicate beyond the normal ways. And some of this 5G some of this um, cyber optics, fiber optics, all of this new nanotechnology, um, tracking mechanisms, it's interfering, right? Because they think they're doing it to get ready for these wars and for battle. But they're testing it out on the consumers. So just like TikTok grew very quickly, and then now they're talking about how to monitor it, you know, that is something that isn't because TikTok unlike Instagram and Facebook is not was not being monitored the rate it was and so people were able to do a whole lot more so this whole internet thing they're playing with it it's a way for them to continue to have access into everyone's phone everyone's everyone's home everyone's and track you and know where you're at know what you're saying know who's doing what where you're so that's part of the process I'm telling y'all, you, you, your name says you're an observer. I feel you. I'm an observer as well. I'm a purveyor as well. Right? And those of us that are, that's why I said those of us that are ready, that are getting the messages, that are aware that you need to elevate, you need to expand your, your focus, expand your territory, become more aware, go back into, as I said earlier, my, I, I think back to the lessons. The very thing that I did not like about the fall was that I had to do 17 bushels of greens and, you know, wash and pick them, wash them and 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 uh blanch them and bag them up into green into into uh, ziploc bags and put them into the freezer i didn't appreciate having to snap green beans and uh you know whole peas and all this stuff that my mother was doing for the harvest or package up meat so that we can have it sectioned out to be able to utilize in the in the winter months i did not want to preserve making preserves making jams you know there you go. I'm with you, observer. So now I appreciate the fact that my mother taught me that 
Because what she was teaching me was that just because you have it now doesn't mean you're going to have it later. And there may be a time when you're going to need it later and you want to have it. And some of us is to harvest this wisdom, harvest these conversations. We need to prepare, prepare as we're harvesting to, to preserve some of these things for a time in which we're going to need them. That breakup that you had in your relationship, trust me, the skills and the power and the, and the words that came to you in the middle of that process of you mourning that relationship and moving on is going to be benefiting you when you go forward. I'm telling you. The financial loss that you experienced, you learned, you should have learned from that. So now, now that you're getting more resources, you should be able to put those finances into work in a different place. Are we there? Are we there? Are we together? That's why I say my conversations are not for everyone. It's not for the weak. It's not for those who just want somebody to foo-foo them and, and pass them on. No, I'm speaking to those who, who got the call already. I know who comes up under my voice. Just like here at this conference. People are like, oh my God, I, I never knew, knew you were going to be this person. Well, you can't. Thank you so much for that. I appreciate it, Observer. It is truly about getting into action, getting into focus. Trusting who you are. Why you are this person? What are you experiencing? How am I supposed to glean from this experience and use what's, what I glean to take me to the next level so I don't have to keep repeating this experience? How do I become comfortable with just being? As I said, be, no, do. Be who you're supposed to be. Know who, you're, who you are supposed to be. And then do the things that are required of you in that knowing Folks are going to come. Folks are going to come into your space and they're going to try to distract you. Right. But you need to be observant. Why? Why is this happening this way? Why? Why are we all experiencing people um, having blackouts? Why are we having blackouts in 2022? Why are we having issues with water supplies? Why are we having um, all these different um, ailments? Diseases popping up. Why are people all feeling uh, uh, depressed and, and overwhelmed and confused? Why are they um, limiting supplies of things? The message is external, but it means we need to go within in order to identify on our soul sacred script. What it is we need to do, have an experience. You have the coding for this time. But if you never take the time to reflect and go within, what are you going to experience? But the same old, same old. You're going to become, you're going to become a victim. You're going to have to, you're going to be forced to react versus respond to the conditions that are around you. By choice. I look sleepy today. That's okay. <laughs> right? Where are you going to go? Know who you are, your worth. And they exactly, that's the whole point. When you can walk into a space, you have to know you're belonging in that space because that space is yours. You prescribed this for yourself. Before this time, you prescribed and you, and this was the prescription that you gave for yourself at this point in your life. So if you're here, you need to be utilizing that prescription. Now, what is it you need to know? I watched this movie called The Umbrella Academy with my daughter because I've watched it be bits and pieces before, but she and I just sat down and we just watched the whole series, right? It's like three seasons on Netflix. And what I took away is that they had this one boy who time traveled. Um, and he time traveled into the future and he saw some things and he came back to try to tell and fix it and stop the end of the world and all this whole process. Right. But what I really took from that is you got to know how to you, <laughs> the very thing you take for granted. And there you go. I'm, I'm trying to take the very thing. That you run from. The very thing that you think you've hidden. Is the very thing that's going to destroy you. You walking into a space. And you scared. I'm saying it just. That's a word where people. I'm scared. 
I don't know them. But I don't have what they got. You better walk in that space like it's yours. You better, you better stand on your ground and accept who you are. Experience the vibrational frequencies of the divinity that you are. All is available. Nothing is hidden. Nothing is missing. All you have to do is open up yourself enough to feel it and be it. Hear the whispers. Feel the shift of energy when you get that surge through you. That's your message. That's your confirmation. Speak it. Allow yourself. Blessings and peace. Thank you for that compliment. Allow yourself to walk as you be. Behold the essence. Behold the essence that lives within you, that is around you, that has created you, that is creating more of you and more for you. Stop playing with these people around you and be who you have to be and start doing what you're supposed to do. <laughs> what are you needing permission for? Did they ask for permission to destroy your life? Did they ask for permission to retard your growth? Did they ask for permission to push you into a, a, a stigma? No. So why are you asking for permission to get the hell out of that locked up jail that they've tried to put you in, that prison that you've been in, in your mind, in your heart, in your soul, in your physical care, in your financial assurances? When you're letting somebody keep you from having what you need to have because they're going to tell you because of your label, because of your condition, because you're a shamanic healer, because you are a seer, because you're a spiritualist, because you are whatever. You're going to let somebody tell you that didn't ask you before they did what they did to you. Everything is temporary for a permanent purpose. It is your responsibility to identify first and foremost your purpose and your original assignment. The one that you had before you got to your handlers, a.k.a. our parents. And the social scientists call your family and your community. They were only there to get you prepared for the time that you are now coming into your level of conscious awareness and alignment to restore yourself to complete your assignment and to make your true contribution to this divine universe as a divine. Stop getting so attached. What's the purpose? In my book, I talk about that. I said, listen, we got a bunch of connections. And sometimes a connection, you needs to be seen. You have to see a, a connection. Not sometimes. See a connection as this is what we're doing right now. See me like a light bulb. The light bulb is on. It's shining light right now. But when the light bulb blow, you just get a new light bulb. You get a new light bulb. Absolutely. Absolutely, positively, so it is. You get a new light bulb. You're not, you're not lamenting over the, the, the previous light bulb. You're not, oh my greatness. You're not holding services. You're not reminiscing about how many times that light bulb came on for you. You go get a new one and you move on to the next one. Learn to live that way. Be grateful. Thank you. Now on to the next. That's not harsh and cold. That's being focused. That's understanding that all things are temporary for a permanent purpose. That's not forgetting your original assignment. That's what that is. But some of us want to keep dipping, 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 holding, dragging, pulling. No, no, no. Let's get ready. Let's, let's pick up arms. That's why I say conscious, honest, authentic talks. That's, I chat with people. I ain't talking to you no more. Because talking is overrated. And it wastes a lot of time. 
And I can't waste my time because my time is my second greatest asset, what allows me to be, and I got to get to do it. So if I'm letting you distract me with foolishness, with your fears, with your, with your inhibitions, with your disrespect, with your disregard, with your limited thoughts and mindset, I cannot progress and be who I be. They don't know who I be. So people, I'm telling you. Messages, signs are all around us. People will flock to you as long as you allow them to to take from you or that you're giving. But the moment there's a request for reciprocity, what happened? I love it. I love it. I love it. What color was a bird? What color was a bird? Let me know. Let me know. Let me know. I got a message about birds uh, two days ago. I want to know. Welcome, husband, 1152. Husbands, it says. Okay. Welcome. What, what kind of bird was it, observer? I, got a, I saw a black word. So let's see. Let me know what your bird was. I see it as a black bird. Oh, Robin. Ooh. Okay, I'm going to put that down, Brother Robin. Okay, good, good, good. Truly, nature affirms all of who we are and where we're going and how we're expanding. Truly, it does. Those of us that have that have chosen to buy into the relationship we have with nature, that's another thing they did to us. Observer and those of you that are here, welcome to the room. I am Dr. Marion, sister of four, a.k.a. the chat diva. My company is the Azon Life Alchemy Center. I am a holistic life harmony alchemist, healer, spiritualist. Right? <laughs> they make us believe that nature is bad. They, they give us into these conversations. Yes, that too. They get us in these conversations that make us believe that we should, we should not be in nature. So we don't like bugs. We don't like birds. We don't like squirrels. We don't like uh, uh, dog. Well, we, people like dogs and cats, but we don't like uh, anything that's out in nature. We don't want the trees to grow. We don't want the grass to grow. We don't want the flop. We don't want everything is bad. If it's outside, it's work It's horrible. So they put us in these, in these concrete boxes. They put us on um, the sidewalks. No longer have the, all we got is concrete. We don't have uh, real plants or real trees anymore. There's this movie. What was it called? Oh gosh, the little orange Lorax. Lorax. See, sometimes these movies, these themes in these movies are teaching you stuff, and they showed you how people didn't want to cut trees, didn't want to cut grass. They complained about their allergies. They complained, and everything became plastic. Everything became non was was against nature. But when you are against the very thing that you are, you're going to have challenges. You're going to have challenges. Everything is quick and fast. We got to eat out of a bag. We got to eat out of a box. We got to eat for what? Why not? Why not prepare something else? And why do you have to eat all the time? You're not doing anything to burn the fuel. But they're not going to tell you that. They're going to have you believe that because you're working your brain... That you need to eat. They're going to tell you that because, because you are, it's, it's been four hours, you should eat. But they won't tell you to drink the water. They won't tell you to, they won't tell you to, um, to, 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 to work on in, ingesting, you know, green, red, orange, the rainbow colors. They won't tell you that, but they'll tell you to taste the rainbow in candy. And then they'll limit, they'll get you hooked on something. Like, like I told people, I said, when I started seeing all this stuff, but everything had bacon on it, everything got bacon. I said, okay, so what's going on with the, and I went to the stock market to look at pork belly sales. They were down. Now everything has pork, 
pork on it. Bacon, 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 bacon. Welcome, Arizona native. Arizona 79. Yes. That's my whole point. See, you see that you see <laughs> you see the contradiction. And that's why we have to become more aware of our choices. We have to prepare in this season. We in spring, we're coming in the, at the cusp of the summer into the fall. And in this time, in the middle of us having our bounty, our harvest, our revelations, a lot of us are getting information, uploads and downloads that are telling us how to prepare for the next season. But we're trying to worry about somebody else because we supposedly have a connection to them. But they have their own path and journey that might be connected to you. But it is not your your journey is not contingent upon them doing their journey. I'm going to say it again. Some of us are connected to people. Family included. OK. Job included. We're connected and we're letting that prevent us from do, rising into our true ascension on our own journey. Because just because we have a connection doesn't mean that our growth and expansion is contingent upon them walking with us side by side. No, we're just connected to them. But we got to keep going. Don't be fooled. Don't be dismayed. Don't get distracted. Turn up your volume. Here, my ears are ringing again. See, this is, I'm telling y'all. Somebody needed to understand that process today. You once you make the decision that you are going to ascend and that you're not going to be just going, doo -doo 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 -doo, you're going to say, no, 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 I, I'm, I'm assured. I'm assured. I'm assured. I'm not, you're not going to drag me. You're not going to push me. I'm going to allow myself to move, be in movement with conscious awareness and activation of my divine spirituality. Because it is, as the observer said, it is bigger than just the rituals or the religion. It is about the implementation and the activation with consistency. Huh? Absolutely. Start speaking your truth, not in secret, not behind closed doors, not be who you're going to be. I'm here at a conference. And I'll tell you an example. I'm here at a conference. I get here. People have been flocking to me. I, have, I spent $40 in three days on meals, on drinks, on experiences. Every time I got ready to, somebody else said, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. They're supposed to. I know who I be. And in exchange, they are getting access to me. Not my availability, but they're getting access to me. And that's sparking something in them. And some of them are going to become people that work with me and become my clients. Yes, some of them will. But that's not my intention is just to be me and extract what needs to be extracted to further propel me. And for me to remind somebody and maybe my presence will continue to spark somebody to remember their life alchemy. Like I'm doing this call today, like I'm doing this live today. Because there's plenty of distractions. There are plenty of distractions. It's not by happenstance or coincidence that you are experiencing and you're being called into the vibrational conversations that are challenging you to know that what you have always felt in your heart, in your bones, in your DNA, in your blood. It's now finding other people who say things that you've always been saying and knowing that is not a coincidence. It is you are you are calling us forth. I remember when I, uh, I was when I how I ended up becoming vegan, right? 
is that I was making some chicken lasagna. I'm a, I'm a great cook. Everybody will tell you I can I can cook my butt off. That's one thing, Mom. Me and my look, I got that gene to cook well, right? I cook anything I want to cook. Um, but anyway, I was making some chicken lasagna and I was uh, doing the chicken breast in the skillet and scoring it so I can make some uh, chicken lasagna. And uh, when I was doing the flesh, it said, "This is flesh. You're actually eating flesh of a living animal. You don't know what." happened to this animal or what the purpose is and I so at that from that day forward that was in 2013 I ain't playing around I tried to just do vegetarian it didn't work the myths of going vegan like how the body reacts uh symptomatically Explain that a little bit more um, so I can understand, Observer. Are you saying that when you become vegan, how your body detoxes, how your body becomes more vibrant because you're eating more um, more natural fuel? Yeah, your body is not working as hard to process um, the heavy, the heavy um, flesh process. Yeah. Like when I go home, sometimes I can't avoid because um, sometimes my family puts fish and stuff and I can't avoid it. Yes, I meant that in the form of a question. I'm a concern. Okay, yeah. So when you be okay, so I can talk to you about that. Going vegan, plant based, you know, it to, it has its benefits. You're not as it doesn't it makes you lighter. You you'll see you you have more energy. You'll find yourself um, having more clarity. Most of our food is processed. Is processed in a factory. Um, the way in which people process our food is not the best. So if you could go into a situation where you are are um, eating foods that have less energetic disharmony, right? Can you imagine going down a thing and all of a sudden, pop, I'm dead. I mean, what type of fear comes in that? What type of, how does the adrenaline work? Animals have fight or flight too. Animals have fight or flight too. Yeah, you feel heavy, you know, you compacted, your feces has a different odor, you know, you, you got, um, you know, intestinal issues going on. So all of this becomes a premise for us to examine Examine your body. Just try it out. Try it out for yourself. I'm, you know, like I said, I'm, I, I did it for myself for multiple reasons, and I see the benefits. I see the disadvantages when I go back home and somebody has made something, and you know, sometimes I just don't eat, and then they get to tripping, and then I just take because in our culture, if you don't eat, it's like you saying you don't trust the person. So I'll eat like one spoonful, and even that's like, oh my, right? It's hard to process. Even if I don't eat the actual flesh, just to eat the food that has it, it's, it still has an effect. Your body is like, what the heck is this? Right? So definitely give it a shot. I, I suggest you go, you know, there used to be something that used to circulate around the internet. It was called Meatless Mondays, right? Meatless Mondays, Tofu Tuesday. I don't do soy, so I wouldn't participate, but I, you get my point. Like, just, just start minimizing the amount of meat. I read a book one time. It was called um, Eating for Your Blood Type. And this is all still relevant to having a conscious, honest, authentic talk. It is all about you ascending and being being and knowing who you are so that you can do what you're supposed to do while you're here. Right. Some of these things we've learned, some of these behaviors that we've accepted, some of these processes, we've, we've been conditioned by people who just are, again, just repeating whatever they were told and never had a really an opportunity to question it or challenge it. Or know that there was an alternative. Because most of us come from a place of survival. I don't care whether you're comfortable financially or not. It's not about economics. It's about emotions and environment. So back to this ideal of... Um, yeah, that's all you can do. You can just try it. You can just try it. You know, try to reduce the amount. But I read this book. It was called um, Eating for Your Blood Type. It was popular for a while. Um, and when I decided to go vegan, I went and I read the book, the book. Yeah. I ended up purchasing the book and reading it. 
after reading it in the bookstore and what it told me for my blood type was that I need to have like less than less than one ounce of meat, <laughs> less than one ounce, of, like one ounce or less of meat and that I should eliminate dairy and wheat from my diet. Right. And so I'm thinking to myself, OK, so what's the point? What, what do I need one ounce for? I just don't have none. So I, that's how that became. And then when it said no, which I already knew, I didn't do dairy. I hadn't done dairy um, since I was like a teenager, maybe a preteen. So I knew that I was okay. So I knew that the veganism was for me. Yeah. Yes, you can do iron. Yep. You find your iron in your food, right? You can find your iron in your food through your beets, through your dark greens, right? Yep. That's how you do it. And if you want to, you can, you can take things like wheatgrass, um, supplements, things like that. chlorophyll, chlorophyll tablets, things like that, that allow you seagrass, things that can give you your iron. Listen, people say, oh, you know, you got to eat a cow's liver. You got to eat this to get your protein. Go back and look up the, re the level of protein that's in certain vegetables. And that's what you do. Right? Because the animal is eating the grass or the hay or they're supplementing with, with vitamins and pills. So why get a third party, a middleman, and the, the, the animal is a middleman. So just go straight to the source. Go straight to the source. Thank you all for being here today. I appreciate everyone who's there in the room, silent and involved. We appreciate you. And I just really believe in having conversations, again, that ignite uh, a new one. Yes, peanuts, almonds are even better. I love almonds as well. Um... And they're great energy boosters, you know, great energy boosters. Um, yeah, great energy boosters and stay in movement, you know, get outside, stay in movement. If You know, people say, oh, well, I worked on a day, you know, sometimes take a moment and just get up from your desk, get up from your from your normal job and don't talk to people. Sometimes put your cell phone down like no sound and just go for a walk. Go for a walk. If you work, if you work in a building, you know, your lunch break, maybe take five minutes, your first five minutes of your lunch break, maybe, and go walk and just clear your head. Get out the building. Remove yourself from the energies that surround you. Take some time outside. Give your body, give your body the real medicine. Right? The natural elements. Let the wind blow on your blow on you. Let the sun come down on you. Touch some dirt. Experience life as life because it's you welcome to the room welcome to the room Teresa and Mike thank you for the oh thank you for the roses I appreciate it you know getting getting that space where we can where we can honor ourselves and that's what my mama was teaching me all those years ago she was teaching me that when she was making me go to the fields and and harvest the the crops you know having to go down south and harvest crops or having to go up north you know, and, and, and harvest the crops and then come back and then come back and process them, you know, shuck the peas, snap the beans, pick the greens, chop the greens, blanch them, put them in jars, put them in freezer. My uncle killing cows and send it and we got to break it down and put it where it has to be. All of that was for a reason. The tomatoes, processing tomatoes, making preserves, making jellies, making jams. What she was really telling me was that this is where your fortitude is at and your preparation. But when mommy being in that dirt, mommy being out there on that dirt, but it also made me recognize and appreciate hmm, my, the ones that came before me didn't have a choice, but had to do it. Had to do it every day. So in honoring that now as a, now as I'm ascending more and more, I am realizing that those tools were really gifts. Those experiences were really gifts that secure who me, secure me in, in my beingness. It's securing me. Yes. Okay, my love. Thank you for being here. It was an honor and a pleasure to share with you this. You gave some great, great, great um, insight and positions. And I wrote down the robin and the owl. If you haven't followed me already, please follow me and let's stay in contact. 
and let's stay in contact. Everybody, welcome to the space. I am Dr. Marianne, sister of four, a.k.a. the chat diva, conscious, honest, authentic talks from a divinely inspired voice of ascension. My company is Aizan Life Alchemy Center. I am a holistic life harmony alchemist. I am a healer. I am a spiritualist. And I'm here to share with you and remind you and commune with you of our knowings of how to be exactly what we chose to be before we were placed in our mother's womb. Before we got distracted, before we listened, (laughs) before we forgot. Yes, this is why I'm here. This is what we're doing today. All right, we're doing this type of this type of conversation today, expanding ourselves beyond the current situation, circumstances and observations that we are experiencing and magnifying ourselves into our true reality, the one that we have created, the one that we prescribe for ourselves to be in in this present moment. It predates us even being born. But we knew we would be in this space together. We knew that this conversation would have to happen. We knew that we would have to re up on ourselves and honor it with truth. We understood that truly we are the square root of all possibilities for ourselves and for our lives and for those we love. Let me explain to you, how do you help those that you love? How do you create the next generation if you yourself are mediocre? So you're just going to produce more mediocre. You're going to you're going to symbolize, you're going to represent mediocrity and then they grow up and they see that mediocrity. And so they just rinse and repeat it. Or are you going to say that we don't we want more than mediocre? You want the magnanimous experience and exponentiality of our of our expansion the way it's supposed to be. Because we look to nature, we look to divinity and we understand that there is nothing that can be enumerated when it comes to us because we are the walking, living infinity sign. We are truly that. These are the conversations that have to happen because we're getting distracted in these present moments. We are we are becoming, um, I'm hearing the word dis- dis- disencompensated. Is that even a word? But that's a word that I'm hearing. Dissipated. As It's like we are dissolving like, steam right firecracker i like it hi tiana thank you for the follow if you want to know more about me you can click the link in my bio to give you a little insight i think i have a video even might even be there but uh, i want you to get a chance to know me right this is an opportunity to have a no cost no obligation conversation and interaction to elevate us back into our knowing we're talking today We're talking today about being who we are to be, beholding the essence, the innate information awaiting manifestation within us, within our sacred soul script, to be able to expand, as I said earlier, to be who we're going to be. And I started out talking about, you know, noticing that we're in the harvest season, we're in the, we're in the fall, we're about to enter into the fall season and, and that. What are we taking into the fall with us that we're going to store up for us to replant again in the season of spring and summer next year? What are we doing? What are we what are we experiencing? What are we allowing ourselves to glean and prepare and process to ensure that we can have a little bit of what we enjoyed in the spring and summer, in the autumn and in the winter, but then begin ready to plant it again so it can grow and harvest it all over again? What are we doing? What are we saying? What are we experiencing? What are we saying and experiencing? What are we what are we doing? Right. What are we doing? Hmm. What time is it? I gotta mark my I gotta mark my time because <laughs> I am at a conference and we needed to make sure that that we are here. William Barr, welcome to the room. So what's on your mind today? You feeling a lot better these days. Excellent, excellent. Excellent. Good to hear that. Good to hear that. 
and you will continue to feel better these days and you will continue to expand and you will continue to to have optimal physical health and emotional acuity and security. You will continue to experience more assuredness, more confidence. You will continue to experience more truth from your own integrity and you will attract it as well. Okay. Yeah, you will. Yeah, you will. Yeah. That's what that's about. Now, now, as you continue to do that, I'm also going to encourage you. I'm also going to, you're welcome. I'm also going to encourage you to remember what's making you feeling better. I want you, I want to encourage you that when you start experiencing it more, that you realize how do you keep that happening time after time after time, regardless of the situation, circumstances, regardless of the people that you're interacting with, how do you keep that going? Because it all begins and ends with you. You are the creator of your reality. You pick and choose. You decide how long, how much who they are, what they do, you. Because it's your reality. That's it. All right, everybody. Oh, I look at the top. It is the top of the hour here, and I need to get ready to go downstairs again for our first sessions. Thank you all for spending some time with me. Again, if you have not heard of me, if you want to learn more about me, you can go over to my links in my bio. I just created a link, and uh, you all can find out more about me. It gives you an opportunity to learn more about me as a holistic life life, <laughs> life harmony alchemist. Somebody is caught. They're knocking at my door. Uh, that's why I'm laughing. And uh, so, yeah, it's going to be a great opportunity for us. I look forward to serving and being with you again soon. We are connected for a reason. You heard the vibrational frequency of my voice and it resonated with your vibration. That means we're connected. So let's go ahead and do some things. Let's change some things. And remember that when things begin to cloud your way, make you feel like you just can't go on. Stop. Scream out nice and loud. That's not my reality. And know that it's only a bad dream if you allow it to be your truth. See you later.